Hi there. Welcome to the first lesson of the second module, Performing Keyword Research. There are numerous SEMrush tools for building master lists of targeted keywords in any market or niche. Among them, you may find the Keyword Overview Report, the Keyword Gap Tool, the Keyword Magic Tool, and the PPC Keyword Tool. With the help of these reports and tools, you can identify long-tail keywords, find related topics, and narrow your results to a targetable range. Keyword research is a rather creative process. Practice as much as you can, and do not be afraid to experiment. On that note, let us take the next step together and go to the Keyword Overview Report. This report allows you to find semantically related keywords and long tail keywords with high traffic potential. As a pizza chain representative, we will do our research using the root word pizza. It will be a foundation for our pool of high volume, low competition keywords. Let's take a closer look at the report. Click the keyword overview item within the left hand same rush menu, then type pizza into the search bar. You will see the report with basic information about the queried keyword. Volume is an estimated number of searches done monthly for this keyword. It indicates the keyword's popularity. Basically, short, high volume keywords are perfect for driving traffic. The flip side of the coin is that it is harder to beat your competition online when trying to top the rankings for these terms. The competition level is reflected in two metrics, first, cost per click, or CPC. It is the average minimum price advertisers pay for a click on an ad triggered by the queried keyword. Second, competition. This is the same metric as competitive density, which we faced in the advertising research report. It shows how many competitors are bidding on a certain keyword on Google AdWords. One means formidable competition while zero means you can achieve high rankings easily. The CPC distribution chart shows the average click price across different databases. The trend on the right-hand side of the screen shows how much interest the keyword attracted over the last year. Below, you will see two lists with phrase match keywords and related keywords. Phrase match keywords mean longer terms that include the queried keyword. The related keywords list is comprised of misspellings and semantically related terms that trigger similar search results. We will delve into these reports later on in this video. Then, you will see the list of the top text ads that appear for the keyword in question in paid search results. You may want to use these ads as examples when creating your own ads and their corresponding landing pages. If you're dealing with e-commerce, Look at the list of the top product listing ads and their advertisers. These are your potential competitors in Google Shopping. Finally, there is the ad history graph. It shows the monthly number of ads SameRush found for the queried keyword over the last 12 months. It shows how actively websites are bidding on the term. By clicking the graph, you will be redirected to the keyword ad history report. We will take a closer look at it in the next module. Moving on, check out the phrase match report where you will see the list of the keywords containing the initial one. Analyzing this list, you can discover longer keywords to target in your paid campaigns. The main goal of our research is to find long tail keywords with the highest volume possible and lowest CPC or competitive density. Using such terms will affect your campaign's return on investment in a positive way. The easiest way of doing this is by applying the following filters, volume, cost per click, and competitive density. It will be a great idea to search for specific keywords that will be of utmost relevance to your business. You can specify the keywords to discover which ones relate to your needs. To make this search efficient, Filter keywords that are word matching or exactly matching a specific word or phrase, containing, beginning, or ending with a specific word or phrase. Then check out the related keywords report, 
which will help you further enrich the semantic core of your campaign. The report will provide you with semantically related keywords. It becomes crucial due to the fact that search engines urge website owners to broaden their keyword profiles. You can stick to the same plan here, find relevant keywords with the highest volume possible and lowest CPC or competitive density. A couple of tips here. First, do not forget to use the advanced filters to streamline your research time. Second, after you have found the scope of your keywords you need, use the SEMrush Export Manager to keep them in one place. To summarize, comprehensive keyword research starts with the Keyword Overview Report. It has all the necessary features needed for you to be able to create a primary list of keywords to use in your paid campaigns. 